Hey folks, this is IOE Thorn back with some more stone block. So not much has changed except we no longer have a tree in the middle of the room. So there's that. Um, and everything else is pretty much the same. I had a chest in there for stuff that's going to be related to this meltery. Um, that's pretty much it. That's really changed. Also, since Merker has become a um, a patron. We need to add a wing in here for him, obviously, and so Merker's Mechina or Machina, I don't I don't know which that says. I, I, it's something in that range. So this is gonna be where we start automating things. Um, and the first thing I wanna automate is the chess. Because we all know this is a horrible system. And it works kinda, but not really. I'd like to be able to set up a chest here where I just dump everything in and then it auto sorts, right? That would be awesome. So let's try and set that up. We're going to start by taking out the blocks between the chests, at least the first couple, um, because we're going to need this space. Um, oh, I'm not hearing block sounds, but you know, whatever. I'll throw down torches. Just to make sure nothing spawns in there, because there isn't actually any room for anything to spawn anywhere else, except for, like, I guess Endermen have done spawning, haven't they? Have I left somewhere for stuff to spawn? I'm looking for red X's on the ground. I have, um, there's a mod enabled where you can see the light levels if there's a red X. Then there is level, uh, room enough and light levels low enough that something can spawn. Oh, look at that. So yes, there was one place things could spawn in, and that's why we we're getting Enderman in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. So well, hopefully that stops. Um, in the meantime, now that we've opened up the place a little bit, uh, we're going to go ahead and start building these chest replacements. So I have 32 wooden chests. We're just going to spawn them out like this and then we're gonna do that and this gives us drawers it actually gives us a ton of them so there we go ha oh, storage quest complete drawers um, I'm gonna have to do this in sequences so um, wait did I draw back too far no, we're, we're just going to put them back there. It'll be fine. Be fine. Um, probably actually going to turn the stairs around. But anyway, so... Now I can take everything out of this chest. And, oops. That's not what I want to put there. Yeah, let's just take everything out of the inventory needed for this that I don't know where that's gonna go but it's not gonna go in one of these drawers um, definitely need wood in one of these drawers um, one for and then so the like stone is where it's really gonna shine and like so this entire chest is taken up mostly by stone um, and so we're just gonna grab our axe Destroy this because, well, no longer any, there's nothing in it anymore. And destroy this, and well, I can't carry all that stone. But if I do this, there's all that stone is now inside that drawer. Um, he's not quite big enough to be able to uh, sustain all the stone I'm, I'm ever going to need. Um, so we're actually going to end up doing this and then putting that in there and that will increase the amount it can store by a lot and now we just put the rest of stone in and then like stone box can go there stairs we're gonna end up using that's not my pick <laughs> all right and so now I can 
go ahead and take out all of the stuff along here. So we get some back. Interesting. Um, and then add in the stairs at a more of a better angle. There we go. And that directs the eye out a bit better to the, the chest. The building box is empty. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you know what it is? It's the sound muffler is right there. Which is muffling the mobs. It's supposed to be muffling mob sounds. I uh, I didn't think about muffling everything in the area. So that's definitely what's going on. Um, okay, cool. So like food is probably going to stay a chest. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it right now. So we're going to throw it here. Uh, odds and ends are going to end up in here for right now. I'm going to keep that. Signs are definitely odd. I'm never going to have more than like one or two of these things. So why have an entire chest for um, or drawer for them? Um, we're going to end up with a, a chest of some kind somewhere. Um, definitely everything of food is going to end up in that place. Wherever that place is. For now, I'm just dumping it in here just to get out of my inventory. Um, plants and seeds. This will have its own uh, drawer, set of drawers because, um, you know, it's so many. But anyway, so. You guys don't need to watch me convert this entire thing, but I will end up converting this entire thing. And then um, that will increase the um, efficiency of our storage a lot. Okay, um, it is that time of day. It is, of course, oops, let's jump up here so I can see all the awesomeness. Um, it is time for loot chests. So we're going to go ahead and open our first one. Yes, I know I'm a couple minutes late. But let's see what happens when we mana seal. Okay. It's not amazing, but it's cool. I can go right in here. Oh, wait, it's under ores, isn't it? So that's interesting. It's not the most amazing thing in the world, but it's interesting. Um... Jump over to where is it? Storage. We have our first storage quest complete, and we get a, an oot chest for it, which is awesome. Um, we can go into compacting drawers, which I'm gonna set up, and then we'll maybe take a stroll into the next time. Um, I really want to get into this, the Emmy system, but first I need an inscriber, and for that I need Nether Star. And for that, I need other things, and so it'll be a little while before we get there. Um, but once we get to this, then it's basically like uh, a combination of computers and a 3D printing all in one. Um, so the nether, we have our 10 obsidian, we just need some flint and some steel. That should be fairly easy to get a hold of. Grab my hammer and then grab some cob or some gravel and this should turn into flint. Yes, it does. And in here we have our iron. And that is our flint and seal. And now we have the nether quest complete. Um, most likely the nether quest nether is going to go over here somewhere. Um, I guess I could put it in the deadly dungeons, but I think. Mm. The farming lands are strife over there. Deadly dungeons. Now, it's definitely going to go in the captain's quarters over here somewhere. I'm going to have to move this to somewhere. I don't know where. I guess that's McKenna. So maybe I put a hole in the middle of my system here. And put another room back there. And then put this in the... Uh, actually, probably this too. Huh. Anyways, and then sew them through there. I'll put the nether portal. Um, it won't be 10 obsidian. It will be big and beautiful and, you know, a little bit more than 10 obsidian. 
Um, because, you know, why do it if you're just going to do a tiny rain? And so, yeah, that is that. I don't know when the next time I'm going to get one of these out is. Um, Sunday's will Sunday's video will be a Reddit video because those are well received. Um, and of course, tomorrow and Saturday will be World Tanks. So, I'll see you guys later. Um, enjoy this and let's see what the last loop crate for the day is for the week, actually. Ooh, Fox Blocks and Swiss Blocks. Wait a second. I'm going to need these, a lot of these, when I go to... Ooh. That is going to uh, help me a lot when I'm doing the ME system. Where did I put these? They're not one bags. Is this Maybe. I don't know where I put these. Well, when I figure it out, I'll put them there with it. There we go. Um, but those are going to help out a lot. So, good. I'm glad they're there. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Um, I will see you next time. This is IOE Threat.